Hey Ted, how are you making out with your heel pain? I notice you are not limping anymore. Thanks for asking Sheila. I am doing much better now. I searched the internet and found a great website. This site thoroughly explained my problem. Explained how this type of pain can occur and most importantly gave me sensible suggestions on how to get rid of my heel pain. What did you actually learn from this site? You know I play a lot of tennis, and recently my heel has been bothering me. I notice it is most painful when I first get up in the morning. As I walk around the pain eases, but if I sit for a period of time and get up, the pain will recur. I also notice that if I do a lot of walking the pain will return. I had similar symptoms, even though I am not athletic at all. What I learned from this website is that most heel pain is due to a condition known as plantar fasciitis. There is a long ligament that attaches in the heel bone and extends all the way to the ball of the foot. If you bend your big toe upwards, you will feel a long cord running from your heel bone to the ball of the foot. This is the plantar fascial ligament. In most cases of heel pain, the ligament becomes inflamed where it attaches into the heel bone. Every time you walk, you overstretch the ligament and it stays inflamed. That is why without treatment consisting of immobilizing the ligament, the problem seems to persist forever. When you are sleeping, the ligament tightens up, so when you take your first steps in the morning, you stretch the ligament and feel pain. But in most cases, as you walk around, the ligament loosens up and the pain subsides. What did you learn from this website in order to treat your plantar fasciitis? First of all I learned that there are other conditions that will mimic plantar fasciitis, such as a possible heel fracture, a rupture of the plantar fascial ligament, a heel bursitis, tarsal tunnel syndrome, or even a heel neuroma, which is a trapped nerve in the heel area, which can be very painful. But, assuming you have true plantar fasciitis, and the only way to really know for sure is to see a foot specialist, there are things you can do to relieve the pain. What I learned, is that the focal point of treatment is to prevent the overstretching of the ligament. Without reducing the overstretching, all other treatments such as cortisone injections, oral anti-inflammatory medications, physical therapy and even rest, will only have minimal impact. Okay then, how do you go about reducing the overstretching of the plantar fascial ligament? That is accomplished through the use of what is known as an orthotic. This is a device that fits into your shoes, it supports the ligament, so that as you walk, the plantar fascial ligament does not overstretch, so you could argue, that you are actually resting the ligament. A good orthotic will also cushion the heel, thus reducing pressure on the heel. If the orthotic is supportive enough, it distributes body weight more evenly throughout the foot and makes for a more comfortable gait. So should I go to the supermarket and purchase an arch support that I see sold there? Well, what I learned is that although you certainly can try a store-bought arch support, in most cases, they tend to not adequately support the arch, particularly if you are a big person or are overweight. They all seem to try and rely on cushioning the heel, which may help a mild case of plantar fasciitis but for those who are really suffering from heel pain, they are generally worthless. Most podiatrists offer two types of orthotics. One is a custom-made orthotic, where a plaster impression is made of your feet and is sent to an orthotic lab which fabricates an orthotic specific to the patient's foot structure. It is similar to prescription eyeglasses. Podiatrists also offer what is known as an off-the-shelf orthotic, which is a pre-made orthotic, which is made out of prescription-grade orthotic material, but since they are pre-made they are a lot less expensive. This website that I found actually offered an off-the-shelf orthotic, known as the Superstep Orthotic, which was very affordable. Well Ted, tell me about this website so I can do my own research. Sheila, go to www.foot-pain-explained.com and not only will you find answers about your heel pain, but other foot, ankle and lower leg problems as well. The site is written in simple, easy to understand language. The site is over 1500 pages, devoted to problems of the lower extremity. Once again, the site is www.foot-pain-explained.com. Make sure you add the dashes.